I am Vikramaditya and welcome to Jade Soft Tech. And in this session, I am going to discuss about why SAP jobs are highly paid. And this video is specifically for those who are entering into SAP and uh, know not much about SAP. So if you are already an SAP expert, SAP consultant, uh, maybe this, this video is not for you because you can just skip that. Uh, if at all, if you just want to know the reasons of why exactly SAP jobs are highly paid, you can go ahead and uh, watch this video. And whatever I'm discussing here is my perspective and uh, you may have your own perspectives which, which you can add as a comment for this video so that I can inculcate them in the next video and it will be informative for others who are following. So let's understand this from a very basic uh, uh, concept here. Uh, I'm just taking an example of, let's say, uh, a phone, iPhone. So before starting ahead with SAP and its products and jobs. Okay, and uh, understanding about why exactly it's highly paid. So here we would like uh, I'd like to take an example of an Apple iPhone. So before that, uh, let me let me uh, explain it from a perspective of let's say you have your budget is somewhere around at ten thousand rupees or hundred dollars. So if you, if your budget is hundred dollars for purchasing a smartphone. Uh, you might have n number of options and if you ask your friends each one of them would suggest a different phone and um, it, it's very rare that you know uh, two or three people uh, will be uh, suggesting a same one each one has their own choice now that we all uh, listen a lot about uh, the drawbacks of iPhone and uh, how iPhone is not good for us and uh, stuff like that. But if at all, if your budget is one lakh rupees or say somewhere around a hundred dollars, thousand dollars. Okay, so which phone does all your friends suggest? All your friends would suggest an iPhone. That's a more simple choice. So most of them would suggest you an uh, iPhone. Why is it so? Is because it has got quality, it has got a durability and stuff like that. Irrespective of what exactly matters, what matters here is the point that at one certain point of time, you, you have the only choice is iPhone. Most probably. Now, this is the same case for SAP. When it comes to ERP technologies, ERP softwares, is, uh, companies have a lot of, lot of uh, options. But when it comes to the topmost level of companies, the default one would be SAP. Even though it's a costly affair, uh, we have more than 4 lakh deployments throughout the world. So 4 lakh deployments in the sense, the software deployments, 4 lakh deployments in the sense there will be uh, people who are required for going ahead with the implementation project, uh, migration project, support projects. So these all will be normally uh, by default all these projects would run and uh, support and maintenance is mandatory for all these uh, projects right. So support and maintenance and for this we need people okay and we need people for uh, for implementation project now we, we need uh, in, in the maintenance project and we need people who actually take care of uh, to maintain the support and maintain the project and also to upgrade them to the latest uh, version 
so and then we have uh, projects of implementation of course wherein we have the greenfield project like a, a new client for new client also we might have to implement uh, sap so these are all the different uh, projects that we have also uh, added, added to this we have the migration project and uh, we'll have uh, the rollout project so we have a lot of projects uh, for which we need the manpower and we need sap needs skilled manpower so when you when you have a skill of like a particular module then it's most probably you have a choice of being hired by a good company and more than 500 cmm level 5 companies cmm level 5 companies main income source would be from erp and specifically in sap softwares so sap has got a lot of demand mainly because we have huge number of clients and these huge number of clients are not just random clients they are rich clients so what do i mean by rich is they are economically these are the financially strong clients financially strong clients is what we are going to discuss i mean like uh, these are all the clients who have who are very financially strong and also they would not like to risk okay so these companies would not like to risk with a new uh, with a new software they would not risk with a new software what are they going to stick to is a proven concept which can run their business and which can improve their business and sap happens to be a very reliable software uh, from more than 48 years now and it's been started in uh, way back in 1972 so it's it has, it has got 48 plus uh, years of experience in the implementation of erp softwares so it it's considered as uh, the topmost uh, erp solution and uh, definitely this is the first priority for most of the companies and it and sap is avoided in major the major reason reason for avoiding sap software is that it's a bit costlier than any other software other than that uh, sap has got a lot of good features and it's got a lot of span of uh, solutions so they already if at all if an organization uh, implementation is going on or support is going on and if they face an issue most probably sap might have got that kind of uh, issue for some other clients and there would definitely be a solution so since it's there in the 120 countries so somewhere some some a uh, client might have got some issue like that and we can solve that according to that experience so we've got a vast kind of experience here and uh, that's the reason sap is being chosen by most of the companies for implementation projects and definitely when the projects are more the demand is more projects are more demand is more now when we say projects are more uh, we not just uh, discuss about uh, the uh, implementation projects we have upgradation migration roller projects and uh, uh, stuff like that so in maintenance projects even if we have this four lakh implementations are already been done so in this at least there would be like 40 lakh people are required to be working on this on an average now let's 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 have this question most of you might have already got this question that yes you know you're saying that it's four lakh uh, implementations and uh, we have 40 lakh uh, people uh, uh, in that let's say there are already people in that so how do we how do we have a requirement for new people now sap if you observe after introduction of hana has highly customized and modified its softwares upgraded its softwares to cloud platform and most of these technologies are now different from what we already had in the past specifically from the gui point of view and from the backend point of view because i you know there was you know open source i mean like the uh, platform independent database independent kind of a process now we have hana specific hana database specific uh, softwares are coming up so we also have cloud platform being high, given highest priority and we have got uh, ai being integrated into it and then we have cloud analytics being integrated into 
into the SAP softwares. Now there's a lot of upgradation going on in the, in the internally in the SAP projects. Now we need a lot of people who have skill on these platforms. For example, I'll just take an example of SAP Commerce Cloud. SAP Commerce Cloud uh, platform wasn't there in the past. So until and uh, until SAP took over uh, SAP Hybris. So there's a completely different approach to handle the business online. So this is one solution which SAP says it's it's a it's, it's going to be a boom in the future. So it's already a very happening project. Uh, happening software so we don't have much number of uh, skilled manpower on this technology and when it comes to sap s4 hana like a uh, conventional uh, module if we say FICO finance and controlling so how about in uh, latest uh, latest skills that are required is additionally with sap FICO a company who is hiring an sap FICO consultant would also expect them to have a good experience on finance or if not at least knowledge on SAP S4 HANA finance so in the same way we have all the latest versions been coming up and for this we don't have the manpower uh, you know enough manpower in the in the market it's very clear each company is really suffering because they do have projects but they don't have the man skilled manpower and if you if you if you upgrade your skills to the latest uh, latest up updates in SAP which have been successful then it would be definitely give you an edge and it will automatically have a very high a, a, a very high package so here these all created a demand in in the in the market so I'm talking here about the demand and supply so we have huge demand on latest technologies but less number of less of sap sap consultants or developers right so because of this huge gap in the demand and supply uh, we have a very good packages in sap and not only that there's another reason for that is like i've taken an example of iphone let's say you are working uh, in say iphone you, you have started your own business as iphone uh, maintenance shop so you, you just maintain uh, iphones any issues are there you're going to solve it and let's say you have started this maintenance shop now you've got this maintenance shop and now there's another guy who actually started this nokia uh, maintenance shop okay so this is this is purely a phone uh, shop let's say okay now who do you think will earn more will that be a iphone maintenance shop guy earns more or a nokia maintenance guy uh, earns more if at all if you are in the prime location of the city Obviously, the guy who who has uh, started the maintenance shop for iPhone would earn more. And why is it so? Is because SAP, uh, iPhone is something which is purchased by uh, people who have a fin financially strong background comparative to the Nokia maintenance shop. So, if if at all, if somebody is uh, using iPhone, obviously his uh, maintenance uh, his uh, financial status would be a bit high and they don't mind paying you say somewhere on rupees 100 for just a, a small uh, a small issue but uh, or, or you can say that dollar one one dollar or two dollars or 1.5 dollars it doesn't make much much uh, difference so it, it, they can just pay it out just for opening the phone and telling them the issue what exactly is the issue also you can charge that but in Nokia, it doesn't work like that because those who have less less budget are expect, are actually going ahead with the Nokia or phone. So this is the main reason why uh, you know uh, iPhone maintenance would earn more because the people who come for maintenance in iPhone shop would have a financially strong background, and when it comes to the people who who come for the maintenance of Nokia would have financially less strong background comparative to the iPhone customers. Now the same thing happens here as well in SAP. SAP you can compare it with the iPhone. 
so those who actually come for the implementation projects like say example the clients would be pmw or dm like chrysler or say uh, say something like um, pwc or you can have tcs or say something like a, a big huge company or a strong company like nestle or coke so these are very strong companies in the world so these companies if they come as a client definitely our, our pay would be like would be very high compared to other technologies like for example if you have a, a technology like not so popular kind of a, a technologies like ramco it's it's also an erp software which most of you might have not heard about so it has got le i mean like a less financially strong companies who look for a kind of a kind of a budget kind of a uh, software then that would be that so obviously here since the client is financially less uh, you know less strong than compared to these uh, topmost companies the kind of uh, payments or the salaries that would be provided here also would be less so this is a very simple concept here that wherever there is a money flow you you have got to you you will earn a lot but if there's no money flow then definitely you're going to suffer so this is a very simple logic on which you, you know you can understand that sap consultants uh, earn more and the reason also uh, is been explained here now next is like if at all if sap consultants are highly paid it's because of the clients and it's because of the skill set skill set every every technology needs skill set but the clients are uh, you know uh, super rich and they're financially strong that's the reason uh, that's the the sap consultants or do, who, those who are working in the sap field are paid high salaries and uh, any any tech, any 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 kind of a project you are going to get more salary in sap rather than any other their technology comparatively the, the kind of a uh, work pressure also is not that high as uh, we get in other technologies uh, wherein like uh, the even if the payment is more that the, the kind of a pressure we have in other technologies is high but whereas in sap uh, jobs are cool and uh, you you in fact like even being a cool job you earn a lot that's that's the most important thing that you have to understand here and um, this might be useful for you uh, as, a, as a fresher who is entering into SAP. Uh, those who actually are in a confusion whether to whether to whether they have to build a career in SAP or something like Java or something like uh, any other uh, te technology, then it's, it's better for you to choose SAP because SAP has got great future in uh, great future and also has a very good pay scale and if you like this video do share it with your friends and help them as well to choose a right kind of a, a career path and i hope if you have suggestions please do write in the comment box if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please do subscribe at youtube.com softech and if at all if you're looking out for any kind of trainings you can contact us at training at the and if at all, if you're looking out for any kind of a jobs, you can you can you can mail us at jobs at richjsoptic.com. And do please do not forget to share this video with those who are actually about to start their career or who are freshers. If you if you know anyone who, who's a gra fresh graduate, do share this video with them because they will have a clear understanding about uh, uh, SAP and also choosing this as a career. Thank you. Have a great day.